Yo, what's good guys, it's your boy back with another video. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna record a chorus for a customer on Fiverr. Um, click don't use that. Um, we're gonna record a customer on Fiverr. I've got the beat, he's purchased it. Um, let's jump straight into it. He needs the chorus. Um, he needs a, um, he's, he's paid 50 for it. Um, it's a quick chorus. So he wants me, he's made this beat. And he's put the chorus, he sampled Drake, he's used it, sped, he sped it up and he's put it on the chorus box. He wants me to re-sing the words. So he wants me to re-sing this. So, pretty simple. Um, let's jump right into it. Um, oh, oh. So it goes there. I told you. I just want to put a little bit of echo on it. Um, I'm using the LA two LA LA two A on the Avalon. Um, let's put some reverb on it. I need you. I need you. Okay, let me just change the input as there's no signal coming through. I told you. Uh, I, I told you. I told you. It's not too late. All you gotta do is stay. I need you. Yeah. I need all you gotta do is stay. Cool, so let's hear that back actually. Um, I'm gonna put it on a Chris Brown vocal, even though it's a Drake type vocal. I need to pitch correct it as well. I'm gonna switch off the delay as it's slightly distracting as I'm speaking to you. Okay, so the pitch correction's on, I have to tune it up. Uh, let's get the tune of it. So a lot of people ask me why don't I use the pitch tuner? I don't use the pitch tuner, I like to, because it's not accurate. So what I do is to get the pitch tuner or the tune of the song. What I do is I, I told you. that sounds terrible, right? That's how a lot of you lot are, are leaving your vocals on because you're not tuning it right. So let's tune it right. So let's try uh, B, B minor. Um, and we keep tuning it out until we get the sound that we want. So we're going to go ahead with B minor, tune that to B minor. I told you. No, let's try B major. I told it's neither of them, so we keep going. I told you. I told. Mm, I told. C D E. Let's try E. E minor. Cause it sounds dark, so you know it's in a minor. I told you. I may have sing. It's not too late. Put some. All you gotta do is stay. I need you. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and sing it, cause I think I sang it quite, quite out. So let's go again, um, and then that tune up should fit in and should start working. So let's go. Was it I need uh, uh, I, told I told you I told uh, nah, you be careful I told you it's not too late all you gotta do is stay I need you yeah I need Cool, so no matter how much pitch correction you use, you need to slightly be close to the key. So let's try that. I told you. Out, so we're gonna just go through it now. I told you. Out. <laughs> I Out. I told you. Out again. I told Out. I told you. Sounds good, keep going. It's not too late. Sounds good. 
good. And that's a cheat, like sometimes I do that, I'll just go through all of them and go with what works, like that's a natural minor fitting in, and I'll just leave that on there, like you don't need any fancy equipment, you what, here's the thing, you want to train your ear, right, I love technology, but I hate the fact that it makes people lazy nowadays, it's, it's always better to find a quicker way to do things, as long as you ain't, um, uh, missing out on the foundation of what music is right so some people are doing things that are making them miss out on learning how music is made like you need to learn your scales you need to learn your major keys your minor keys and like these are the fundamentals of music if you skip these then you end up skipping out on understanding what music is all about so my thing is like you want to lay, lay like, like a house when you build a house you need a concrete foundation right you can't build a house on sand right because it will fall apart and you'll have nothing eventually so you want to build on a solid base and then once you've built on a solid base and you built your house it doesn't matter what the fuck you put inside the house you could put you know anything that you want inside the house you know you can have shitty carpets you can cheat when it comes to buying the paint you can cheat when it comes to buying the kitchen you can cheat on almost everything inside the house but the actual fundamental of what the house is made of i.e bricks and cement you and concrete you can't skip those parts okay and what i'm feeling like nowadays is there's a tool for everything and people are using them tools without having no foundation and like i said you need foundation for for the music okay you need to learn your scales you need to learn your your major keys your minor keys and understand how these things play together once you've learned that you can you can have all of the tricks uh, that you want so i know how to tune a vocal in organically and 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 doing it this way and i can also use a tool as well so some days i don't feel like tuning it like this and i could use a tool if i'm feeling lazy but at least i have the option okay so i just want you to remember that so um let's go back to this I like that. And what I'm going to do is also I'm going to change this noise gate, which is originally from Lo uh, uh, Logic Pro. And I'm going to use the Waves one because I just like it better. It just It's just better. So C1 gate. Um, how this works is it takes away. You'll see that gap there, that spatial gap there and there and there. I'm just going to turn this on so that you don't hear any background noise. And I pull this function up. I pull this lever up and it cuts it out. So you can you hear it? It's gone. Sounds nice. Um, I, I, I told, uh, I told you it's not too late. All you gotta do is stay. I need you. Yeah. I need all you gotta do is stay. Cool like that i'm not sure if he wants me to vocal stack it and put uh harmonies on it i can if he wants i'm gonna go ahead and send it to him like this and if he wants me to put more stuff on it i can okay i'm just not sure if he wants me to and i don't want to do it if he don't if he don't need me to so that's that it's quite simple um go and copy and paste this it's a new look it says fiverr rolling sparks sparks is a new is new to fiverr reach out and make a good impression so um we want to do that so gonna save this copy and paste it save it put it in my customers file clients should i say 
Uh, if you just want to know the difference between a customer and a client, a client is someone that buys from a service-based business and a customized buyer that buys from a product business, okay? So if you're buying supplements, then you're a customer, okay? That's a product. Supplements are a product. If you're buying a service like gardening or a music service like this, which is vocaling, or if you're buying a service like an accounting service, you know, you hire an accountant, then you're a client. You have a client, okay? Just something that I learned recently, and yeah? I'm just sharing the game, yeah? So Rolling Sparks. I call this I need you for a client not a customer um, and I was going to save this project like that so it's Saturday while we're waiting for that to load up okay well it's not it's, it's saving so we're going to bounce this now to bounce the track I'm just going to go to bounce um, file bounce uh, project or section highlight the yellow in the yellow the part that I want to bounce PCM is exporting it as WAVE. I want to export it as MP3. So go to MP3, hit OK, name the track, or go to Rolling Spots, put it in the right folder, name the track I Need You. Oh, it could be called Stay. It's probably a better title name. I Need You is like so cliche. So once that's done, I go over to this, open up that, deliver your order, upload my work, find a file. I roll in sparks. I need you. Go to I need you. Send it across. Use the quick response that I use for all of my um, deliveries. Hey, Rolling Sparks, thanks again for your order. Your delivery is attached. If there's any problems, please let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as, you, as I can. Thanks again and have a great day. Boom, bam, bosh. Listen to it back quickly. Make sure I've, I've uploaded the right file. <laughs> Sounds good. Deliver the work and let him get back to me and see what he says. If he needs any changes, I got him. That's no problem. So guys, look, if you want to order some vocals, if you want me to sing your next hook, you need some additional vocals for me for your track, hire me on Fiverr. Um, you can find me on 13 Beats on Fiverr or you can go to my website, www.13.com. You can hire me from there. I want to leave you with a little tip today. Um, when you're working with different people online always look to build relationships relationships is what is going to build the foundation like i said of your career it's all about doing the fundamentals you have to do the fundamentals if you don't you're not going to get anywhere the fundamentals as a music artist nowadays are reaching out to i mean here's my strategy reaching out to a minimum of two people a day so it's the power of two OK, reaching out to two people online every single day. So if you're a music producer, reach out to two artists every day. If you're an artist, reach out to two music producers every day. If you're a songwriter, reach out to two music producers every day. If you're an A&R, reach out to two rappers every day. So whatever you need and whatever complements your talent the best, reach out to two people a day. And in 365 days, which is one year, you would have contacted 720 different people. Okay, and that is a network. Do that over three years. That is 2,110 2 people that you have in your network, whether it be artists, rappers, and producers. And it's not about what you know. It's always about who you know. The more people you know, the more opportunities you're going to have at whatever it is you're chasing. So it's all a numbers game. Like I've worked in sales i've worked reselling property um years ago um before i got my break online right doing this stuff it's all about your numbers make sure you're getting your numbers up and when it comes to music production it's all about making sure you're covering your fundamentals so if you're in with music you need to learn your scales learn your minor keys your major keys and um, whether it be sound engineering you need to know volume control you know compression eq like learn the fundamentals you can learn the fundamentals and find out whatever the fundamentals are online. Just Google it, the fundamentals of, and then type whatever you want it in. Learn your fundamentals and that way you're building a career and, and, and a passion on solid ground and not build trying to build a house on sand. Because believe you me, it will cave down, it will crush and it will come to an end. OK, so make sure you're building a good foundation. Make sure you're covering the fundamentals. And I definitely will want to see you in the next video. Make sure you give this video a like, a subscribe and I'll see you soon. Have a great day and take care.